He drops a murderous rider. That has to be an ember cleave. He's really holding on to the ember cleave. He has an ember cleave 100% there. Well, now I'm gonna steal both your girls. I don't care if they're ugly. I'm taking him. My. Hello there, and Trent. Mogwai here, and I got another MTG video for you guys today. Today will be the last video before Theros Beyond Death, as I am going to be a part of the uh, basically preview stream, the early access event uh, on Twitch. So you guys can check me out uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly at what time it starts, but I'll actually uh, announce it on on YouTube as well. So I'll be playing with the new cards and trying on new decks and all that stuff. So we're gonna kick off, you know, this Throne of Eldraine standard uh, away with one of my favorite decks, uh, and it's actually a meme deck. And I, I know you, a lot of you guys like this deck as well. It was originally built by my good friend Page Man. It's called the Cauldron of Memes. It is a Cauldron of Eternity Reanimator list, which I have uh, modified a little bit. This is an updated version uh, from, you know, comparing it to the uh, prior one that I showcased a while back. Uh, we did add in four copies of Murderous Rider for more interaction. Keep in mind, this deck is meant for best of one. And it is just extremely fun to play, man. I love uh, using Cauldron of Eternity to bring back Enry's Forerunners and Agent of Treacheries as win conditions, alongside Yerok to duplicate their upon entry effect. And uh, Emery, alongside Gilded Goose, makes up for a really nice, you know, decently paced early game to uh, enable our setup as Tonebound Lich is a very vital card to this card to this deck to send uh, you know our reanimator targets to the graveyard we also incorporated Cavalier of Thorns we have Wicked Wolf and uh, overall it's a nice mix of proactiveness like we're we have the tools to get our reanimator strategy going on our self milling and, and all that good stuff but we also have good interaction to make it so that we don't get stomped by aggro decks but even then Sometimes they get the nut draw and uh, you're gonna see that in today's video. I have a nice mix of games for you guys, you know, wins and losses to showcase this deck in its glory and also, you know, to showcase when it fails because it does fail every now and then. Uh, quite a bit actually. It's obviously not a high tier deck, but it is so fun when it gets going, man. And I just, I love it. I personally love it. I, I have a soft spot for, you know, reanimator strategies. And Cauldron of Eternity is an awesome card that I uh, spent a lot of time trying to make work, and it took it took Oko getting banned and you know the end of the actual standard season for me to actually find it uh, a home, you know. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the games, and hopefully you guys are excited for the new expansion coming in, and for those of you excited for Legends of Runeterra as well. I'm incredibly hyped for that game too. So it's just. A really uh, busy January, and you know, for a, for a card game enthusiast, it's it's a good time, man. I'm I'm hyped for what's to come, and hopefully, you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's video, which will be me talking about the cards that I uh, am most excited for from Theros Beyond Death. Instead of doing a full set review, which I did do on my Twitch yesterday, in case you want to check out that VOD, I'm gonna be talking about specifically the cards that I'm uh, I anticipate the most, like a, that I'm like more intrigued about and more excited to play with and it'll be a select few cards that i will really go in, into detail with and i'll talk about my you know uh, impressions and what decks i'll try to build around them and all that good stuff and that'll be tomorrow's video and yeah that's all i gotta say have a soul day thank you for watching stay tuned for daily content from your favorite fake brazilian card boy or second favorite i don't know i'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, i'm gonna keep this because i'm, I'm one land away from I have no turn to play anyway, so I can drop the Fable Passage if I don't draw into another land. I'll pick up a, a Swamp here, and then I'll go Tonebound Lich. And these these uh, Aristocrat decks are are definitely a, a, a tough nut for us to crack here. And we're facing, we're running into a lot of them, dude. Like, it's kind of crazy how many we're running into. Like, a lot. We're facing a lot. <laughs> okay. Jeez. 
Jeez. Mega wrecked. My god. That was pretty brutal. I probably could have, because I could draw into a goose here. So I, I, I definitely should have waited. Uh, I, sh I should have, like, played the swamp and tapped instead of the, the forest. Not like it's going to make much of a difference at all, but. GG. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we got we got dumped on. Oh my god. Ah, that that just seems like I I think you know it's. What 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 can we expect out of that matchup, right? Like we're. I mean, to be fair, his, his opener was kind of ridiculous. Sorry, but it's not like we have early game interaction, anyways. Okay, this is more promising. Let's see if we can make it work this time. Unfortunately, no turn to uh, Tonebound Lich, which is what I would love to see. But it's just not going to happen. I actually do like that there because I can play Tonebound Lich next turn. And uh, I can discard. It's obvious one what land I'm searching for here. I do want to attack with this. Fuck sake. Of course, I, I, I should have taken that into account. God damn it. Alright, so the, the basic idea here is uh, I'm going to go for a Massa Girl next turn. So I'm, I'm setting that up here. Okay, we don't have to worry about Ember Cleave, fortunately. Uh, we will be using everything we can to block here. I really hope he doesn't have a drill bit. That, that would be pretty rough. Actually, I can't block with this, so... Alright, that's good. Well, it's good unless he has a drill bit. If he has, if he has a drill bit, then we're fucked. Really gonna hope that's not the case. But I see it coming. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Oh, my lord. Alright. We always prioritize the swamp here. All right. Like this matchup is way more manageable than than aristocrats for us because 
like they're not an end they're just aggro right like we have the means to answer aggressive decks we have the tools like tonebound lynch is excellent against this for example even though i think i'd rather ah see this is where i miss izoni That's what that lightsaber comes lightsaber comes in. What what four drops do we have? We have the wicked wolf and uh, what what was our other four drop? Because I took out Vanifar and I took out the the fine broker. Was it just wicked wolf? No, there, there's another one, right? What what am I missing here? I'm gonna keep this in the back just in case my opponent uh We gotta keep this in the back to make sure that we can take an attack from Murderous Rider. Not gonna attack. Uh, Want to keep this blocker in case a fervent champion comes in. Yeah, this matchup is definitely way more manageable. Now we go off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Yeah, I think we could go back. I mean, no, because because the getting like playing actually playing the Great Henge is difficult. Man, if that drill bit happened earlier, though, we would have definitely lost this game. Like on on the massacre girl. Jesus. 
this? <laughs> Took him a while. I found an instant uh, win combo with one of the of the Theros cards, though. Three card combo. Cool. I'm gonna go turn one goose. And uh, hopefully turn two lich. That looks good. Uh, death decklist, sir. Uh, the decklist is in my. It's in my decks. You just have to scroll down a bit. It's called uh, Cauldron of Something. I don't. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but you know, Cauldron of Something. I'm actually gonna drop the uh, the Temple of Mystery. White wieners. Right. I'm actually gonna drop the Molder Hulk. And I'm gonna keep both Tonebound Liches in the back. Because you can always tap one of them with the Enforcer. And uh, next turn I do aim to go for the Wicked Wolf. We could very well see a Loxon on here, which seems like that's gonna be the case. That's that's pretty brutal. Not even gonna lie, that's pretty brutal. I could just take down one of the flyers. And uh, try to survive like this. Interesting. Oh shit. As long as he doesn't top deck another one of those, we should be fine here. Because you can always tap some of my creatures, but I have enough blockers to stay alive here. And uh, I can I can come I can come back from this. I just need him to not top deck another fairy guide mother. Like that would be That would be all she wrote. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Guten stuffin! We're gonna generate a treasure with Gilded Goose. And uh, we got that that uh, Great Henge waiting for us. And, uh, and we will be able to cast it, right? I think we should be. Um, I don't know, I have to look at my math, but. We're gonna make some food, cause we hungry. You can always use these to tap um, 
This is this one ha like you can only use one of them. I wonder if he wants to tap my gilded goose. Yeah, we will be able to cast that. And we can do that. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're going to do this. Let's cry that away. And we can tap this, gain two life. We, we can gain five life, basically, this turn. And five lives should be enough. Sure. I do need to fill up the... Yeah, let's do this. Nice! Fucking perfect. That was glorious. You can't power through now, brother. I got more creatures than you, which means that even with your tappers, I'm always going to be able to block your attackers, and I'm just going up from here. And all I need is that sweet eternity. I love the fact that he's playing into this though, because I, I want to see how far we can go. <laughs> we, have, we have 21 cards left in our deck. Holy shit. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Whoo! Voice crack. I want to scry. Atta boy. Atta boy! I tapped my two blue sources of mana here, but, you know, whatever. Free kill. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Um, let's discard you, shall we? <laughs> Do I even have... I don't even know if I have, like, more. I should have more. <laughs> oh, my God.
He's not giving up. He's not giving up. I, I need that eternity. No, I'm just gonna pick him. What am I talking about? I don't need anything. I, I have my wink on here. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna like this. All right, pick time, boys. I don't even know how much damage this is. GG, man. Oh, we did it! Took us a while, actually. But we got there. Fuck yeah. It just feels like in Magic right now, in Standard, if... Unless you're like playing at turbo pace, you're just not doing it right. Like there's no such thing as just like, you know, building up a little bit. No, 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 no. You either die by turn four or turn three even to aggro or you're doing some crazy shit by then as well. Like everything is just so fast paced. That worked out pretty well. I may as well do this because um, if the Wicked Wolf doesn't die this turn then I can go for Neoform into Jerok next turn and that's when you know we can really get going. A 4-6 Jerok is extremely difficult for them to deal with and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet my I'm gonna bet on those cards I'm gonna sack this. And get Jerog in there. Bing, bing. He's gonna block. Why? He doesn't want to take the damage. And that's pretty much game. What goodies do we have here? We have a lot of stuff. Okay, this is pretty sick.
Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's so brutal! Oh man, when this deck works, it's just so fun. But when it does it, it's kind of sad. But you know, what are you gonna do? Damn, Ember Cleaves, man! Too sad the uh, enter the board combos with Jerak lost such uh, quality post rotation with Chupacabra and Hasha Staker. Yeah. You definitely miss those two cards. Like, you really, really, really miss them with this sort of build. Um, I'm going to keep this, even though it's a bit of an underwhelming hand with Double Cauldron of Eternity. This hand can, o this hand can always be fixed with. With the. Um, Tonebound Lich. It seems uh, white wieners. I figure uh, I'd rather do that to make sure that I can curve out. Though it's not, it's not looking too great. Because he's got a lot of flyers. Yeah, this is just... <laughs> I mean, what what can we do against the nut draw here? Like, that that's crazy, dude. <laughs> that's, that's, that's crazy. Like, you, you don't beat that. Turn one, one drop. Turn two, like, two one drops more. And then five one drops into, like, that's, that's nuts, dude. It doesn't matter what you're playing. You just automatically lose to that. Uh, I like this. We're lacking black mana, but... I love seeing Fidapater into Neoform. Everybody just want them easy wins, just going face. Black mana, that is concerning. Oh, really? Ah, shit. Really? You got slain fire? Oh my god. Alright. Sometimes they have all the answers, man. Once we have the cauldron going, like, we're... We're good to go, right? But I, I do think one extra agent can go a long way. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Regardless, I'm going to turn one bird, because bird is good. Bird is the word. Um... I'm 
I'm gonna search for a swamp with this. You could have a drill bit. That's a great throw. Beautiful. I could play the shaman, but I'd rather I'd rather not. If he wishes to attack with Knight of the Ebon Legion, I will block. Alright. Well naturally now we have to worry about um Ember cleave as usual. Okay, I definitely do want to play this. He does have an ember cleave, which means he has another one. Like, there's no way he just drops an ender cleave like that. He must have, like, multiple of it. No, 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 no. No, nine. Nine. Gotta pray he doesn't find a a red source of mana. He could just try to pump that up. I'm gonna trade with a goose. If he wants to do that, then fine. Okay. I could play... Just realized that this line of play, I can't, I can't do it just because of my my mana. Hmm, which is concerning, because I, I have a, I have an island, and that's a problem. I want to I want to force him to keep discarding, like I, I want to make this Ryan Regis sort of liability for him, and uh, now now we can get off here. Now we can really go nutty. Surprise, motherfucker! Uh, do I want to rest something this turn? Yes, I do. Of course, I do. Do I want to rest up in this turn? What kind of stupid ass question is that? <laughs> of course, I'm a reanimator deck! He drops a murderous rider. That has to be an Ember Cleave. He's really holding on to the Ember Cleave. Now I'll trade into it. 
fucker, the fucker is really holding on to the Embercleave. He has an Embercleave 100% there. Well, now I'm gonna steal both your girls. I don't care if they're ugly. I'm taking him. Am I taking him? I mean, it, it, it just wins me the game, right? This play just wins me the game. Yeah. But mine mine. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. 